Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to draw a pentagon, pentagon that is circumscribed around a circle. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a four inch diameter circle, which of course means I'm going to set my compass and also I'm using half inch scale. Um, and I actually want to make it uh, four feet. Okay, so let's, let's go scale here. We're using half inch scale. And because I want it to have a diameter of four feet, I'm gonna set my compass at two feet because you know the compass is gonna draw from a radius from the center of the circle and I adjust my wheel till I get it perfectly at almost perfectly at two feet. That's about as perfect as I can get. And I'll just pick a, uh, a center spot. Um, I wanna mark it, because I'm gonna use that center spot as a point, and I don't wanna lose it. And I draw myself a circle. Okay, so that is our four inch or four feet in diameter using a half inch scale um, circle for our circumscribed pentagon. All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do is through the center, I'm gonna draw a vertical line through here. Then I'm gonna take my protractor, wherever it may be, and I'm gonna measure 72 degrees because that is the, uh, the angle between the different corners on a pentagon is 72 degrees. I'm gonna make sure my protractor is lined up really well. I'm gonna find 72 degrees. Okay, so you might wanna use another straight edge to kind of find a really good spot because you're going to well, you actually really don't need to do that. I'll actually use that for other things as well. But anyway, so there's my dot. And from my center, which is going to be called O, we're gonna call that point O. We're gonna call this point C. Now from O, I'm going to draw cross and intersect. I'm going to draw it a little bit further than the circle, but not far. And I intersect the circumference of the circle, creating another point. I'm going to call this one B. Okay. And now what I can do is I can take my um, radius from my radius CB, okay, from C to B radius. Come over here and draw my other intersection here. All right, and that's gonna be where a line crosses. So I set up here with the dot and then right there at that intersection in O, get it lined up perfectly as I can, a little bit further. Okay, and then that becomes point A. All right, now using that same distance, that same BC distance as a chord, I am going to, basically I'm using the same distance. I'm going to create my intersecting arc here, or radius there, and my intersecting radius here. Uh, this creates point D, this creates point E. Okay, and now I'm just going to draw a line through point E from O and then line O D from O through D. Okay, next I use my parallel bar and get a tangent line right across the bottom here. You get a little more light in the picture there. So a tangent uh, line. Tangent means that horizontal line is going to meet the circle right at its bottom. 
and I'm going to draw it till it intersects line OE and line OD. Okay, so we got our intersections right there. Now, all you have to do, the rest is easy. Okay, so this is actually going to be point F. So I'm going to draw from point F. I'm going to get my straight edge tangent with the circle. Okay. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist there. Okay. And I'm going, this becomes point G. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And actually, I'm going to do this all the way around. And of course, naming the points is just so that you'll know what I'm talking about as I'm going. And uh, from here, I can really just go all the way around and connect the dots. Okay, and sometimes you may not come up exactly tangent, and that's because somewhere you weren't exactly perfect. Okay, but um, I think we will live through that. Okay, and then from, did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. Well, maybe not. Let's go ahead, instead of lining up the point there, let's just go ahead and do a tangent. Get a point right here, because maybe my A is not perfect. And actually, I wasn't supposed to draw the A anyway, so forgive me for doing that. Okay, so basically I draw a line from C until it intersects A right here. And now it's right. I was actually drawing the line to the wrong point. And then from here, tangent and till it intersects, or until it's tangent to the circle and then intersects at D. Now, I have another point right there. And of course, again, it may not be 100% perfect, but that will get you there. So now I have a four foot circumscribed pentagon. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna show you how to draw an inscribed pentagon.